Hey guys, welcome to today's video. As you all know, I am not super into makeup right now. I, I don't do my makeup very often. And that is just because I don't think it's that much fun anymore. I just don't feel the need to do my makeup anymore. However, I do want some kind of a makeup routine that uh, that I can do that still feels kind of light, natural, it goes quick. So I contacted a brand that I have been dying to try out for so long. It's a Swedish brand and they're called Eden Minerals. It's the official name of the brand. It's kind of inspired by Norse mythology and I just think that the branding and everything is just super pretty and cute. But that's not the main reason that I want to try their products because the main reason is that this makeup is like allergy tested, it is cruelty free. Is it vegan? I'm not sure. And this makeup is sold at pharmacies in Sweden and to be able to be sold at pharmacies it has to be like it has to pass a bunch of tests and stuff so there's not a bunch of crap in these products is what I'm trying to say. So I contacted this company and they agreed to send me all this amazing makeup and I really hope that these can be a part of my new standard routine that goes quick and is easy and not complicated. I'm not 100% sure if this powder foundation that I got in the shade Freya uh, warm light if it's the right color for me. I swatched it on my hand and it might be a little bit dark. Before we go into the powder foundation I'm gonna do some concealing under and around the eyes with this tiny little concealer thingy. Perfect under eye concealer in the shade extra light. And I usually use concealer as uh, primer for my for my eyeshadow. I'm not really that bothered by dark circles under the eyes, oh no! But I think it looks nice when you get kind of a little bit of a brighter shade right under the eyes. I also have a loose mattifying mineral powder in the shade Tora. And I think I might use some of that to set the concealer so that the actual colored foundation doesn't stick like get patchy around the eyes and then let's go into the powdered foundation okay let's hope this is a, a decent shade for me it looks pretty good it looks very similar to my bare minerals uh, shade okay now i've gotten the foundation all over my skin first reaction i think it's as as much coverage as uh, my bare minerals is it the right shade i feel like my my neck is a little bit lighter like i'm sure you guys on camera can't really see but i think my neck is a little bit lighter i also have a mineral bronzer that looks like a this and this is in the shade midnight sol which means uh, midnight sun kick up I mean, so this is a bronzer and not really a contour since it's quite warm. I think this looks pretty nice. I like it. This eyebrow here is a little bit out of control. <laughs> but we've got products to fix that, so hang in there. Next is a blush. Where did you go, blush? Here. This is in the shade Tranbär which is uh, cranberry. That's the swatch right there. It swatches way more pink. It looks more dusty rose in the pan um, and it swatches like Barbie pink. But we'll see how it turns out on the skin. Um, yeah, I think it looks pretty similar in the camera compared to real life. Maybe slightly more pink in the camera, but I think it looks nice. Now, let's dive into this eyeshadow kit. Beauty Icon set. One Magnum mascara and eight eyeshadows. This is what this looks like. The packaging, maybe it's not very travel friendly. I mean, you take out... Of course, you can store the mascara in here, I guess. Um, but still, for these two quads that could have been the size of this, pretty bulky and big packaging. But it's nice that it has a mirror because almost none of my other products have a mirror. I haven't done my eyeshadow in months. <laughs> I don't even know if I remember how to do it, but uh, hope for the best, of course. Now I'm just going in with the lightest shade all over my lid. Now I'll take 
this one here, uh, this warm medium shade and define the crease a little bit, like a transition color. Very pigmented, easy to blend out. Okay, and now I'm gonna go in with this darkest matte shade um, in the outer corner a little bit. So there, and then I'll just go in a little bit with underneath the eye as well. This is not really going to be a part of my everyday super easy routine, um, but if I want to do any eyeshadows, um, I'm, I really enjoy working with these products. And to think of how much money I spent on a makeup artist license. If only I had known. <laughs> I have two mascaras now. I have this, a Simply Pure and Clean mascara. Packaging looks like these. Instant Max Volume Definition and Care. And then I have this mascara, Ultimate Volume Buildable Care. I think the brushes are gonna decide which one I decide to use today. Ooh, I like this. I really like these, like, brushy brushes that are not uh, completely like hard plastic yeah more like this one uh, this is not my favorite kind of brush so today i will be using the um, copper golden colored mascara Ooh, i really really like these kinds of brushes There we have it. I think it's quite impressive. Well, not last, but second to last, but not least, eyebrows. I mean, I look kind of really ridiculous right now with these eyebrows. Let's see, I might even have to pluck them a little bit so I don't look completely out of control. I like my eyebrows bushy, but uh, hairs that grow down here <laughs> don't like count as bushiness. It's crazy how times change. When I was younger, I thought I had way too much hair. And now I'm like, give me more eyebrow hair. Um, so what I have is this product, which is Perfect Eyebrows. Fine fiber infused volumizing tinted brow gel. I think I got medium, yeah, I got medium. They have a light, medium and dark. I think I'm gonna fill them in just a little bit, like just to fill in the gaps. Of course, I don't have my eyebrow product with me. As always, I use my Try Brow Color from the makeup store. And I'll just fill in the gaps a little bit and shape them the way I like them. And then we'll try that uh, brow gel-ish kind of product. And now I'll do, I'll use this on one eyebrow and then we'll see the difference. The brush, oh Jesus Christ, I thought it was going to be bigger. That's what she said. <laughs> so here's the difference now. I mean, it definitely gives it a bushier look. Compared to this, this is a little bit more smooth and this is a little bit bushier. I mean, it's a look for sure. The question is just if I prefer this over the other kind of eyebrow. Um, but it's definitely an easy way to make them a little bit darker. This is kind of what my brows look when I dye them, which is nice. This mascara is by far my favorite product. And the last product for today is this uh, lipstick called Jungfrubär, which translates to either mermaid berries or maiden berries and i don't know what kind of berries those are but this is the shade again i wouldn't say that the shade here matches with the shade here this one is definitely like dark red while this shade is like light pink and i was expecting this shade and uh, not this shade but uh, we're gonna roll with it this is fairy tale dream by makeup store Usually I color in my entire lip, but I want to get as much of this shade in there as possible. Ooh! <gasps> yes! 
So the finish is definitely way more sheer than I thought. If this would have been a matte lipstick, uh, then the color would have been way darker. It turned out to be a shade that I really like. This shade of lipstick is right up my alley. It's kind of like natural lips, but a little bit better. Mm. Ooh. Eee. So I asked you guys in my Facebook group if you guys wanted a first impressions or an updated kind of like review after I've used the products for some time. And I thought, why not give you guys both? So this is the first impression video and in the future, in about a month, two months, I don't know, I will be doing a get ready with me, just similar to this one, and just tell you guys how I feel about these products, if I end up using them, and how they last, etc, etc. But as of right now, I'm a huge fan. Um, some of these products will definitely kick out some of my old nasty products that just need to be thrown out and I'm happy to replace them with these. This mascara is without a doubt one of the best I've tried and hands down the best I've tried that is cruelty free. I have my favorites from before I started using cruelty free makeup mm, but uh, this is by far my favorite since I stop buying non-cruelty free products. I think my base looks awesome. I don't need any more coverage than this. I just think it looks fresh, even. It feels like I'm not wearing any makeup at all, which is kind of what I'm after. And I like it. I hope you guys have liked hanging out with me while I try these products. And until the next video, have a super duper good one. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.